is number one off the overlapping triangle homework I gave you on Friday. I'm going to go ahead and walk through the proof on this. Now, the strategy, overall, we want to prove that DK and DY are congruent. And ideally, that means we'd probably get these two triangles right here, KAD and YDR, congruent as well. Well, we're going to have to go through a couple of rounds before we get there. Now, um, what we're going to do, really, is prove that this triangle, this one right here, is congruent to this triangle. And we're going to be given that this angle here, AKD, or A, I mean AKR, is congruent to YR, Y, and we have perpendicular lines. So let's go ahead and use those perpendicular first. So step one, I'm going to have my given. And I'm not going to write it all out because I'm doing it on this little notepad thingy. So this right here, my given, it's going to go right there. Okay? So two, since perpendicular, I'm going to say that both these angles are right. Angles K, A, R, and angle Y, R, A are right. Okay, I'm going to abbreviate. I'd, I'd probably do a little bit more on it. In fact, my answer key is already on Schoology, so you can look that up. And if perpendicular, then right. Okay, if perpendicular, then right. All right. Um, since they're right angles, uh, they're going to be congruent to each other. So KAR is congruent to angle YRA. And I have this right here. Boom and boom. Okay. I'm also given that these are angle, these angles are congruent as well. So I'm going to use that. Um, so this angle here is congruent to this angle here. I need one more piece. It's going to be this guy right here. I'm going to go ahead and establish that AR is congruent to AR. Reflects the property, of course. And this reflects a property. And this is basically definition of right angles, if right congruent. Okay. Um, now, we are going to prove these two triangles congruent. So I'm going to have triangle AKR congruent to this triangle right over here of RYA. And that's going to be angle, angle, side. Because I have this and this congruent. Now, guess what's coming? CPCTC. I'm going to have these guys right here congruent to each other. So let's go ahead and knock that out. 6KA is congruent to YR. And CPCTC. Okay? Now, look what we have here. We have an angle, we have a side, we have an angle and a side. Guess what? This guy right here, wonderfully put, will be vertical angles. Definition of vertical angles. So we're going to call that KDA, angle KDA, okay? Is congruent to the vertical angle on the other side, YDR. Definition of vertical angles works for me. So if vertical then congruent. Okay. Next one, eight. Angle, angle, side. Works wonderfully. So we got um, KAD. Angle CAD is congruent to YRD. Got to make sure that they correspond. Sometimes I go too fast. Okay. Um, yep, all good. And that's going to be angle, angle, side. And then 9, we got the CPTC event, which we're proving DK is congruent to DY. CPCTC. All right, folks. So again, let's recap the strategy. I wanted to prove these two triangles right here congruent. So I could do the CPCTC to get these parts congruent. 
and then I use the angle angle side the vertical angles to my advantage and what was given and then CPCTC again to knock out these two parts alrighty I'll get this uploaded and I'm gonna do another one from your homework I haven't decided which one I will in the next five minutes